since Ryan Fitzpatrick went down in Week 1, Taylor Heineke has led Washington to a 6-6 six six record and right into the wildcard mix. He's shown a penchant for making plays with his legs, throwing under pressure, and for the most part, putting Washington in a position to win. He can get better with more experience, but he is already 28 years old, and while he has some exciting plays, he also has some head-scratching ones to go with him. One of the biggest positives in Heineke's game is his ability to deal with pressure, change his throwing angle, and extend plays with his feet. There's really only two ways in which a quarterback can throw the ball, on-platform and off-platform. In the NFL, you've got to be able to throw off-platform and from different angles. It's rarely a perfect world with clean pockets. While there are some things with his base and footwork that he could work on, he is usually able to generate really good power from his lower body and engage his hips to drive the ball. While his body might not be in an ideal situation, he can still create the torque needed to get the ball out. That starts with getting his back foot in the ground. While he may end up with his feet off the ground, he always gets that back foot down in time to initiate the throw. That allows him to push away the ground and engage his glute to then fire and start his throwing motion led by his hips. The upper body mechanics flow from that initial movement, and that allows him to change his arm angle to get it around defenders. As with most quarterbacks, it comes down to Heineke's feet. When he's able to reset and get his foot in the ground, he's much more accurate than when he's falling away or doesn't have his base. While Heineke's escapability and ability to throw with pressure is, is great, he does get a little gun-shy with pressure at times. He's made some really great throws, drifting away because of his ability to engage his hips without a solid base, but you're still going to be more accurate the more consistent your base is. It's a fine line between letting Heineke create outside and getting him to calm his feet. He's very quick to try to escape instead of taking smaller movements inside the pocket. That can get him into trouble. Against the Raiders, he feels pressure and instead of climbing while keeping his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage, he turns and gets parallel. That takes him out of throwing position. He's off balance and can't generate power and accuracy. By engaging his lower body while his shoulders are already flat to the line of scrimmage, the power he generates is going to be going the opposite direction that he's actually trying to throw. As a result, the throw is all arm, it flutters, and really should be intercepted. That issue tends to pop up a few times a game. He can make some great throws in these situations that other quarterbacks can't, but he also gets himself into unnecessary trouble by not throwing through contact and keeping his base. Drifting away from pressure is useful, but at the end of this throw, he's off balance and over rotates to his left. That's exactly the direction the ball carries, and the pocket is clean enough for him to keep his base and be fundamentally sound. Sometimes you've just got to stand in and take the hit to deliver the ball accurately. Heineke will often drift away and sacrifice some of that accuracy to stay clean. When Heineke's in rhythm and throwing with a clean base, he's pretty disciplined going through his reads, though with a couple decision making mishaps. He may not have a huge arm, but he can make every throw you need. He can throw out routes from the opposite hash, can push the ball downfield, and can squeeze the ball into most windows. A couple times, Heineke was fooled by coverage rotations in the secondary. Pre-snap, the Buccaneers are showing cover three with one deep safety. At the snap of the ball, the corner to the field rotates back to the deep half. Heineke does see that player vacating, but he thinks that he can throw a fade down the sideline. However, that corner is keen number two, which keeps him pretty tight to the sideline, and there's really no scenario in which this is the type of ball that Heineke should throw. The receiver is reading the coverage rotation and understands where the soft spot in the zone will be for that back shoulder. Heineke, however, treats it as a pure go ball and puts air underneath it. That allows the corner to easily get underneath the ball, and the throw should be an interception. There's a lot to like with Heineke, and there's a little to be nervous about. He's a gunslinger. There are going to be times when he tries to bite off more than he can chew, be fooled by coverages, or get out of position to make the throw. But there's also going to be times where he extends drives with his feet, escapes from would-be sacks, and makes some absurd throws on the move at awkward angles. Is he a franchise-changing quarterback? No, but he is good enough to win with guys around him, and that's exactly what he's doing. When he's on a hot streak, Washington is no easy out, and they may find themselves sneaking into the playoffs for a second year in a row. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching all the way through. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know someone, a scheme, idea, person who you want to see broken down here in the future. I'm also releasing a speaking football course that goes over the basics of the language of football, what techniques are, what alignments are. So if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description.